So my phone decided to be a jerk while I was in the middle of recording and reach its storage limit. So here we go, finishing chapter one. <laughs> now, also this part is very smudged and I tried making out what it says, but I can't read a lot of it. But I do remember that it was something along the lines of like, she ate her chicken or whatever and she began to feel really sleepy like, really disoriented, and her teacher was like, why don't you go down to the nurse? So, now Golden Leaf is on her way to the nurse's office. <clears throat> so, she, she pushed open the big double doors and walked inside. Here's Golden Leaf again, going to the nurse's office. <clears throat> the nurse took notice of her right away. Hello, sweetie. What can I... What, I didn't add a letter there. I mean, a word. What can I do for you right now? My teacher said I was lightheaded, so she sent me down here. Okay, sweetie, I know exactly what you need. That's not creepy at all. With that, she ran over to a drawer in her desk, grabbed a syringe, filled it, and filled it with a pink liquid. Um, what's that? Golden Leaf said, eyeing it suspiciously. Oh, it's just adrenaline. It'll pinch a little. But don't worry, it won't hurt. Yeah, this is not suspicious at all. Just then, the nurse stuck the syringe in Golden Leaf's arm. It pinched, like she said, but instead of becoming more awake, her vision began to black out. Dot, 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 dot. And there's Golden Leaf's cutie mark, which I still don't know what it is. I think it was like supposed to be a hook or something, but I don't remember. So Golden Leaf's knocked out. Chapter 2, Lockhart. And this one is based off of my friend at the time. <clears throat> In the long corridors of the palace, an alicorn walked the halls. Her pure gold shoes clacked against the tile. Her mane and tail flowed gently, although there was no breeze. Her wings were soft and large, and her horn was sharp and strong with magic. Princess Lockhart stopped in front of a large door. She walked inside. Being only a young teen, she still had schooling. Ah, there you are, princess. I was wondering when you would arrive. You're already five minutes late. I'm sorry, Lolly. I just was admiring all the details of the palace. It's just gorgeous. Yes, well, on to your studies. Lockhart sat down, not wanting to spend her time learning about the history of Equestria. Now, Princess, who is the pony who created one of Equestria's main transportations? Sir Trotwood the Third. <laughs> That's actually kind of creative, not gonna lie. Very good. It went on like this for about 20 more minutes until there was a knock, a slight knock at the door. There's Lockhart. <clears throat> Lolly op looked up, came to the door, and opened it slightly. After a minute of conversing with the pony on the other, s on the other side of the door, Lolly said, It's for you, princess. Lockhart perked up. A stallion with a fancy suit appeared inside the room, his horn glowing a light orange as he carried a wine goblet. Ah, uh, Sir Mint, it's been a while since I last saw you. What brings you here? I have come to deliver some news. A pony to the west has instructed me to bring you to them. They would like to speak with you. This pony has asked to remain anonymous. I was also told that they would like to see you as soon as possible. Sorry, if you hear thunder in the background, it's raining right now. That is why I've come to ask. Would you be willing to leave tonight? Lockhart thought for a moment. If this pony wanted to speak with her, then she should obviously get going. All right, then. I shall leave tonight. And there's Lockhart and Sir Mint looking awesome. <laughs> that night, Lockhart climbed into a carriage along with Sir Mint. He had another wine glass. Princess, would you care for some wine? Sure. She never really drank wine before, so why not grow up and have a taste? Keep in mind, she's supposed to be 13. Uh, she picked up the wine glass with her magic and took a sip and then began to feel sleepy. Then she began to black out. Dot, dot, dot. And there's Lockhart's cutie mark. Okay, so it seems like we might only be able to do a chapter per video because my phone storage is insanely low. So we're going to stop for now. But I'll do chapter 3 soon enough. You can already see the colors through this page. Oh, God. Okay.
I hope you enjoyed this so far, this cringy muffins fanfiction.